Hello friends, welcome to Data Science Lovers. In our last video, we learned about the random module. In this video, we will learn about the lean space function. So let's start. The lean space function in NumPy returns the evenly or you can say linearly spaced value within a given interval. Maybe this statement is not clear to you as of now, but it will be clear later. This is a simple syntax to use the linear space function. First of all, we have to use our NumPy library. Then we have to use the linear space function. And inside this linear space function, we have different parameters. First one is start value. Second is stop value. Then we have number or you can say num. And we have the endpoint parameter that is step and data type which is denoted by d type in short here one thing you have to note that by default the lean space function shows 50 values it will be clear later to you as it is a part of numpy library first of all we will import the numpy library in this jupyter notebook and the syntax is import numpy as np now i will use lean space function as per this syntax, we have to use numpy library np dot lean space. Our first parameter is start value. Suppose I give a start value of 2. Next parameter is stop value. I will give a stop value, suppose 20. Third parameter is number. Number means how many numbers we want in our output. Suppose I give number equal to 10, means I need 10 numbers in my output. I will save this in a variable name A for my reference. You can give any variable name to this. If I run this, the command has been successfully executed. Now let's see what is gives in output when I print A. The output is this. Here if you see that the start value is 2 here as we mentioned here. And the stop value is 20 as mentioned here and all the numbers all the 10 numbers are linearly distributed between these two values that we passed in the linear space function it means that between every two numbers first and second second and third third and fourth the difference is equal here you can see there is a difference of 2 between every 2 numbers. 10 to 12, there is a difference of 2. And 18 to 20, there is also a difference of 2. Okay. Our next parameter is endpoint. Let's see how to use this. I will copy this or I will write it again. np dot space. Our start value 2. Our end value 20. And number again, I will pass 10. And this time I will use uh, another parameter endpoint equal to false. I will save this again in a variable name a. Now if I print a, you can see that 20 which is our endpoint or you can say this stop value is not in this sequence or in this output. Why? Because we have given the endpoint equal to false. Means we don't want to show or we don't want to generate the endpoint in our output. Now, what will happen if I pass endpoint equal to true? Let's see. I will copy the syntax and paste here. And this time I will pass endpoint equal to true. If I run this and we see the output of A, then you can see this time the end value 20 is also showing here. It means the endpoint is true by default in this linear space function. If we don't want to show the stop value or the last value, we can pass endpoint equal to false. Okay, this is the difference between true and false for endpoint. Next parameter we have is let step. Let's see how it works. I will again use linear space function. My start value 2, my stop value 20. Number I will pass again 10. And 
and uh, endpoint equal to true which is already true by default but i will pass for your reference here and this time i will pass a parameter red step as true save this in a variable name a small a and if i print this a then you can see there is additional value here which is 2 this 2 is the step value between every two values of this sequence if you see here the difference between first value and the second value is 2 similarly the difference between the second value and third value is 2 and 2 is the step value or you can say difference between every two values so this is the red step when i give red step equal to true it is showing the step value and when i pass that step equal to false and we print again a then it will not show the step value of 2 and also notice one thing here the output when we use that step equal to true is shown in the form of a tuple which is denoted by these two round brackets and when we put that step equal to false the output is in in the form of a 1d array okay moving to our last parameter which is d type or data type i will copy this and if i paste here and this time I will use the another parameter d type equal to int or you can say integer. I will run this and when I print a you can see all the values are now in integer format. Earlier by default all the values were in plot format 2.4.6. Now the all values are in integer format 2.4.6. So we can change the data type of our values in the output we can also pass the data type as a string if we want to use anywhere like this print a then it will convert all the values in the form of a string and if you notice it is denoted by these quotes around each value now one note was mentioned here by default the linear space function shows 50 value. What does it mean? Suppose I copy this syntax or I will write it again here np dot linear space. We will pass our start value as 2 and our end value as 20. Save this in a variable name a. Run this and print a. When I print this, then you can see it is showing 50 values between 2 and 20 our start value is 2 and our last value or end value is 20 and between these two values there are total 48 values more and in total there are 50 values so this is the meaning of this note by default it shows 50 values when we pass here this parameter num or number and give any value to it then it will show only the specified count of the values here we haven't passed the parameter num so it is showing 50 values by default if i pass num equal to suppose 24 and run this and if i print a then it will show 24 values between 2 and 20 and all values are linearly distributed okay and if i want to check that what is the step value between these two value then i can use the parameter that is step equal to true if i run this then you can see the step value between every two value is this 0 0.78260 so that's how we can use the linear space function in numpy in our next tutorial we will talk about uh, another one more function Kindly subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you.